I've modeled two couches here with identical mass and design. One using solid body design and one using weldments. Can you guess which one took less time to model? You might have come across some advanced symbols in SOLIDWORKS and thought to yourself, this is too advanced for me. I'll stick to what I know. I'm here to compare these features and show you why you shouldn't be afraid to add weldments to your skill set. It will set you apart from the crowd. Now, this is the one I want to use the solid body techniques for, and this is the one I'm going to use the weldments tool on. Let's start with the weldments. I'm going to go to the weldments tab since my 3D sketch is ready. I'm going to click on structural member, set standard to ANSI. I'm going to pick the type AL rounded edge angle rounded ends. And the size I'm going to pick is 175 by 175 by 0.25. Set these, pick them. And now we're going to pick some groups. The first group I'm going to pick is this last frame. Now, this is the frame, but as you can see, it's bent outwards. So I'm going to change the angle 90 degrees. It's not right. Maybe 180. Yeah, this is what I want. Now I click on new group and I start picking the next group like this. It's picking the right angle this time. So I don't have to change the angle. Now this is the second group and I want to continue like this and finish this whole thing off with weldments. You can see the timer on the screen. Let's see what we get. This also fixes the connection points. If you can see, it already cuts these pieces when they reach a junction over here. So I don't have to fix that. When I'm going to do that later with the sweep and the solid body technique, you see it's not even an option. It just creates the cuts at the corners for me. You can see that at an angle and it stops before it interfere with the next profile. Oh, it does here because they're reaching out, but let me just pick the next one. And if I zoom in and rotate the angle, like, I don't know, 180, it's too much, 90. Yeah, that's the one. Now you see they're not interfering and causing any problem. All right, I'm almost done with weldments, but here's the thing. I have some extra material that I would like to cut here. So just like a normal solid body, I will cut this bit. So this last piece would be customized and the rest are in place. You can see no nothing is interfering with anything else. And if they are, SOLIDWORKS has already created the cut itself, like this one. So that was it with weldments. Now, are you ready to watch a really, really fast forwarded high speed video? Because I'm going to do this thing with solid body design. If you're new to SOLIDWORKS, if you're a beginner, and if you want to go all the way to the CSWP level, click on the link in the description below or on the top right corner of your screen to go to my course. Check out my SOLIDWORKS course pro. It covers everything you need and teaches you all the essentials from beginner all the way to CSWP and above. The way I do this is I'm going to copy the sketch, go back here, and then, so the first sketch goes here. Now I can go ahead and sweep this. And by the way, mind you, it's going to be one piece, not four pieces. And that's not all right because nobody can manufacture this for you, a bent angled iron. Okay, that's it for the solid body. You can see the time on the screen. I do not recommend this. Not only it takes longer, but I cannot create a cut list because these are all one component which aren't manufacturable. Look at this, if I create a drawing like this one, I can drag the views that I want like this. And then I can go to tables, pick weldments, cut list, select these two or one and create a cut list of all the pieces and the quantity of the pieces that there are. If you don't know what's what, just select them, create auto balloons. Now you know, item number one, you can find it somewhere here. This one is, there are five of them, 
this is the size and the length is 400 so we need five pieces of 400 it's as easy as that all you have to do is to give this description to your manufacturer and they know exactly what pieces how many quantities of each to make for you if you do that with sweep not a chance plus when working with weldments i have more complementary tools that allow me to adjust my pieces if you have found this helpful and want to try weldments give this video a thumbs up watch the video on the right to test yourself can you guess the minimum number of features needed in solidworks to create these geometries most people make at least one mistake guessing all five if you're curious about how i created these cushions or other organic geometries like this with x-shape check out my x-shape versus solidworks the video on the left i'll see you soon